So Folkestone will win the penalty. Go. 1 0 Folkestone. And as you can see, that is a Margate player and a slash. Welcome back to Matt the Groundhopper channel and it's New Year's Day today so happy new year to everybody watching this channel first day of 2024 and just like to thank all the people that left comments and compliments last night on my Twitter account as well so thank you to everybody for that uh, make sure you follow me on Twitter if you don't already do so so I had a few choices today New Year's Day there's always lots of derbies going on um, wanted to keep it quite local or localish so I've picked a game today and as you can see on the coast this is the very famous Margate Beach I'm going to be watching Margate versus Folkestone today so the Grand Hearts Down Park is just up the road it's a five minutes of journey by car but this beach here you've got behind me Dreamland just there or when I was a kid I remember it being Ben Bond Brothers and the famous Margate Beach here, which a very funny episode of Only Fools and Horses was filmed here. Jolly Boys Out, and I think it was called. I'm sure you've seen it, but yeah, that was filmed here and in Benbourne Brothers in 1989, I think it was. Um, but yeah, it's I've not been down for years, Margate. It's yeah, it's come down as a kid, but this has been a few years since I've been down here. But it doesn't look any different, really. But there we go. Bye, mate. And there's the sea. Okay, so um, Margate Folkestone, local derby. Um, bit of needle between the clubs. Um, I think as it stands for next season, um, if Dover do get relegated and Ramsgate get promoted, you're going to have Ramsgate. Ramsgate Margate next year and Folkestone versus Dover so that'd be a pretty deep <laughs> little four-way uh, derby for the um, Isthmian Premier League but today it's, say it's Margate versus Folkestone I, I don't know if there's much needle between these clubs let me know in the comments if if there is real rivalry between you two um, manager of Margate is Mark Stimson remember him rem uh, remember him ex Jules manager so he's the new manager at Margate so I'd be interested to see him again because he's been doing a lot of, he's had a few non-league um, jobs up in Essex. I think he's at Grays and Hornchurch. But yeah, so he's back in Kent and he's the manager of Margate. So I'll try and get a bit of footage of him later on. But yeah, so I'm going to, reminiscing has been done. I'm going to head back into my car and drive to Hartsdown Park. And I will see you outside the ground. I mean, Hearts Down Park, there we go. Players just warming up. Capacity is just over 2,000, about 300 seats. And if I'm being honest, and I like to be honest, honest on this channel, it's probably the worst ground I've been to to date for this channel. It's you've got like a, it's all a bit ramshackled really, you've got like an old main stand to the right, it's corrugated metal, very dated. Just open really, all the way around. You've got a little stand behind me here. A little stand there and just a bit of open terrace in the other side but yeah so it hasn't been touched for many years however there is redevelopment plans for this ground starting from this year uh, i think it's a big hotel i think it's a holiday inn i read it's going to be adjacent to the ground and they're going to be really redeveloping the north stand which i think it's this side and they're going to basically redevelop this this stadium which i think it needs it to be fair it's 
it's quite a decent sized plot so it goes all around some of decent sized plots you could actually make this ground sink pretty half decent for this level um but yeah it, it, it does need it um fan wise it's a few people milling in now there's about half hour till kickoff quite a few folks from fans i've seen walking about wearing their hats and scarves so i'm hoping it's going to be a half decent crowd today it should be new year's day local derby um, I think Margot have had a bit of a bad run uh, recently, not been great. They did win the Kent Senior Cup, by the way. I was there back in May, I think it was, at Preston Stadium. I was there, Margate versus Chatham Town. And Margate won on penalties. And Danny Kedwell missed a penalty. But yes, yeah, so I've been there, so check that video out if you haven't already done so. There'll be a clip on the screen right now. But yes, there's about half hour to kick off at Margate versus Folkestone. <laughs> So here, that there, they are the changing rooms. It's like a couple of sort of, sort of porter cabin pods that have been placed behind this main stand. I sort of walk across through this concourse here, sort of through the main stand onto the pitch. So folks have been awarded a penalty about 15 minutes in and uh, I don't don't quite know what happened but yeah it's a folks from penalty. So folks have awarded a penalty Go! One nil folks then So it's um, Margate nil, folks to mine. So folks to score from that penalty. I don't quite know what happened. Um, it's the other side of the pitch, but they got one nil up. Um, I wouldn't say any teams particularly on top at the moment, but um, crowd-wise, a bit disappointed really. I thought there'd be more people here than there is being a local derby on New Year's Day. I think it'd be a stretch if it's a thousand people, maybe under a thousand. I can't it's hard to tell, but. Yeah, I'd be surprised it's, if it's over a thousand, but so a little bit disappointed with the crowd um, for the home and away fans. Um, if you're familiar with my channel, you know I've been sort of ticking off lots of grounds on my main 160 list. I've also got a secondary Kent list, which is on the screen now. So this is another ground ticked off for my Kent list. I've still got to go to Dartford, Folkestone at home, um, and I might go to Ramsgate as well. Maybe at the end of the season, because it looks like Ramsgate is going to win the league, so I might pop down there for the end of the season do a little bit of glory hunting and watch them get promoted but um yeah so it's still one nil um atmosphere's okay it's, it's fine but just just a bit disappointed i thought there'd be more people here um being a local derby well Another goal's gone in. It's now Margate nil, Folkestone two. And they've literally just scored again <laughs> a few minutes after that penalty. So it's nice to see the uh, Mark Stinson saying an effect on the Margate team because I think Folkestone are below Margate in the league. There's not many points in it between the two. Both struggling in the bottom end of the league. But this is a decent start for Folkestone. I'm being honest. Um, not looking too good for Margate. But it's now nil two. <laughs> Five minutes left for half time, and you know, must admit, them two goals for folks has completely killed the atmosphere. Because you know, Margate got a drum, they sing quite a lot, and then two quick goals, two nil down, and it's been really flat since I've been two nil down. Um, had a few chances, Margate, but nothing really clinical. Um, I don't want the Margate players all seem to be having a go at each other because I'm right here on the touchline. You can hear everything's being said, and they just seem to be shouting and massively moaning at each other because the crosses are not coming in or it's not linking up as well as they want. So yeah, it seems to be a very, un very unhappy camp at Margate um, from what I've witnessed in this first half. Um, 
I said earlier about the crowd here at Margate, and I, I, I don't get Margate because Margate is Margate. Margate is um, it's quite a big area. Around this area. There's a lot of chimney pots, lots of houses, and I just always thought Margate should be better supported than what they are. Um, maybe if they go up for the leagues, I'll get a bigger crowd. Cause they, they used to be in the National League, they've got, you know, the conference back in the day. But they sort of fall on harder times. But I don't know, I'm just always disappointed with the size of their crowds. Because um, it's, it's quite a very dense area, if you don't know the area. Right here on the sort of Kent Coast, there's not a lot around here. Got Ramsgate down the road. But... That's it, half time. So it's half time, and as you can see, that is a Margate player <laughs> slash. So it's still two neutral folks done, got about 15 minutes left. Um, Margate being pretty woeful. I mean, I thought it was Mark Stimson being a manager, ex Football League manager with Jules for three seasons. You know, they'll be up for this. They just, they've showed nothing at all, really. So, disappointed with Margate. You know, be careful they don't get relegated. Um, flat, flat as well, been very flat with the home fans. Um, so, them two goals at the early part of the first half completely killed off any atmosphere. I'm um, standing with the Margate fans now, I'm making a bit of noise, but they're showing nothing on the pitch at all, like, you know. So very disappointing. Um, one sort of point to note is whenever I'm filming in the corner, I always get all the subs congregate right in front of me when I'm trying to film. So um, they're just over there now, sort of there, but they're right in front of me. It's like, get out of the way, like, you know. <laughs> got a corner or, you know, a shot on target. But yeah, so about 15 minutes left and it's still nil two. There we go, all done. So full time is at Margate Nil Folkestone 2. I uh, was going to do the outro outside, but it's actually started raining and it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> so I thought I'd get inside a bit quick before I get drenched. Um, final thoughts, Margate. <sighs> Wasn't impressed at all, just, just offered nothing. And I hope they turn it around. I wouldn't want to see Margate get relegated because I would like to see Ramsgate come up and I think Ramsgate Margate Derby next season in this league would be good for both teams and good for the league and I'm sure it'll be a boxing day and a New Year's Day fixture so hopefully they don't go down but you know you don't you know Mark Stimson doesn't want another relegation on his CV after getting Jules relegated twice in three seasons although <laughs> I'm giving him a bit of stick I mean he has won the FA Trophy a few times as well but I'm sure he will turn it round because he's a, he's a you know he's a Pretty decent manager at non-league level, uh, but he's got half a season to put it right. Margate fans, I'll give him the old um, Drury, folks to manager, giving him loads of stick. And I thought, oh, who is this? Because I didn't know him to fair. And I and I looked him up, and he was the previous manager at Margate. And all for the game with Margate fans, I was just singing his name, giving him loads of loads of grief. And he did sort of react at the end a little bit to the crowd. <laughs> just quite funny. So he was getting stick, but, you know, he walked away with a 2 0 victory. Um, yeah, overall, thank you for watching. Um, wish I could have brought you more goals. It was a bit flat second half, um, but it is what it is. Um, another game, another ground ticked off my list. 
thanks for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so make sure you like and comment as well if you're a margate or a folkestone fan drop your comments in always interested to read them um and i'll see you in my next game which will be on saturday I've got tickets for the fa cup jills versus sheffield united so a bit of a change of scenery again premier league club coming to priestfield and i'll see you in a few days time in medway thanks again and bye for now Thank <laughs> you.